All right, before we get rolling on some Hellcat content, I got a call from my boy Adam, who's stranded with the Dubo. Got the new boat out here with its second flat tire of the day. Adam's had a rough day today. So I ran over to Tractor Supply, got him what he needed. He was about half an hour south of me where that other tire at. Did you shred that thing too? Oh dang, dude, a rim and a, and a barely another ribbon tire. He's already ready to go. At least it's got new uh, new tires on it now. Right bolt pattern, are we good? You, oh, was it rubbing? Uh, when it exploded? Yeah. Any damage to the boat? No. Not that you would notice. Not that you'd notice. What about over here or anything? Yeah. It's good. She's ready to rip. I wish I had an impact for you. Normally I carry one. Dude, I usually bring one on you. Adam is a guy that has more tools than anybody I know, and this is one time that he was semi unprepared is when he got two blowouts. If I had the tools, I wouldn't have the blowouts. Dude, that technique, I respect it. Many years of not having the right tools. <laughs> <laughs> this guy won't be caught on the road again without an impact. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Would hate to have a third blowout for the day. That would really be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? And leaving a pair in all the trucks. A little more. Speaking of right trailers for the right boat, as we get closer to bringing the Tiley and Longtail Riverboat home, I do need to get a trailer. So if any of y'all out there build custom trailers, I don't want your friend to a friend or your uncle's buddy, but if you can help me get a good trailer for this boat. And I don't want something bad to the bone, like something with some wheels that match my truck, or I really want this thing to look sick. So let me know in the comments if you got the resources I need. Just so happens that Adam was able to go to Shop Hellcats and get a pulley for me. Got a pulley, we got a belt, we got our power steering reservoir. So that should be all the parts that I need to get that blower back on the car. So we come back in with the I have an hour home, get to cranking on this thing. All right, Adam, later. Pulled up at my local power supply shop, SNS, here in Sarasota. These boys are helping me get the Hellcat back on the road. We got some 3 ace vacuum line we need to go from the booster to the blower and then a couple fittings as well. This place is literally like five minutes from my house, so it's super sick. I can come here and get what I need. Ooh, actually, I need a lid for power steering reservoir. You think you got that? It's like a generic. Nah. You guys got everything else in here, man. Gosh dang. Look at this place, just loaded up. Nitrous, fuel, lines, fittings, spark plugs, you name it. Check them out, SNS Motorsports in Sarasota. To SNS Motorsports, right? Yes. SNS Motorsports in Sarasota, Florida. Go check them out if you guys are in town, especially you sick weekers coming up. I think they're gonna be coming through Bradenton on Tuesday, is that right? I don't know. I don't know the schedule. Yeah, I don't know. Next week, if you're on sick week and you need parts, hit up your boys at SNS. They're on Clark Road. They're about, what, 15, 20 minutes south of the track. Once again, we are back with another freaking boring Hellcat episode. And I am like in a full panic, all right? I got this blower. The thing doesn't fit. We got to make some modifications. I know I need to order parts. It's Tuesday. I'm super busy at work this week and my garage is a mess. And I know that before I start working, I got to start cleaning this thing up. My tool bench is an absolute clutter. I got all this stuff over here. I got parts and boxes over here. Oh gosh, it's, it's a lot to take on right now, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get started. We gotta, we gotta get this thing right before this weekend. So let's get to a time lapse here of me cleaning my garage. Moving on, got the tools organized. The garage is still about a six out of 10 in my opinion, but we're definitely in a better spot than we began. So the first step is gonna be looking around to see where I'm gonna have to extend some wires and hoses. The current situation is 
this. And there's some inlets and outlets on the blower that are different from the old one. There's also this power steering reservoir that's in the way, so we're gonna have to relocate that. I'm gonna need to remove this air filter because this will no longer be in use. I'm just gonna run it wide open and uh, also remove this idler pulley because that will no longer be needed as well. So first thing, like I said, is gonna be kind of looking around to see what needs to be moved, what needs to be lengthened, and then we'll start diving in. Here's a picture of the new blower. See, there's a little bit of scoring in there inside the rotors, but the edges of the blades look like they're intact, which is what you want. The seal's right here. Having a little bit of markings or contact in there is okay, but she should scream. What's crazy about these Hellcats is from stock, they have like four map sensors on the blower. And since the car is already put on a Holley Dominator, I only need one map sensor hooked up. So I've got a lot of holes to fill, you could say. Let me show you what we're working with here. On this particular blower, we have a map sensor here, a map sensor here, another one up right here. And then I believe there's a, another one that goes in front of the throttle body. But on this car, how we're gonna have it set up is I'm gonna put the map one map sensor right here Intake air temperature, I need to tap this hole to place this temp sensor here. And then we'll have a fuel pressure regulator vacuum line there. And I need to mount the fuel rails. And that's pretty much it for the blower. I also need to extend this one line for the, for the uh, boost pump for the brakes. And we're pretty much plug and play after that. Oh, I also have to replace this reservoir with the stock one and put a pulley on the supercharger and we should be dialed. Current situation, blower is in the car, but we're still running into issues with this huge throttle body. It is interfering with this heater core hose and the power steering pump. So I'm gonna take it off and see if I can't rotate it 90 degrees or even 180, but hopefully it fits. I, I really don't know what to do other than take it off and try and put it on a different way. Ah, oh, just one issue after another trying to get this thing ready for this weekend. I'm sitting here discouraged. The uh, clips for the fuel injectors are missing from whenever the work was done previously. So I can't get the fuel rails on. The bottom of the blower is, is on the car and torqued down. Sensors are hooked up. But I'm kind of just stuck right now. I got to get these clips that hold the injectors from moving up and down. And then I should be able to put the fuel lines on and then the blower hat and we should be pretty smooth sailing from there. I was really hoping to get the car started tonight, but it's just not gonna happen. The, the fuel injectors move, like once you set the rails, and they would creep up and let fuel out, and it's just, it's just not appropriate to, to try and bolt it down like that. I have so much room around the car right now to, to work around the blower, and so, I think I'm just gonna call it for the night. It's already like seven o'clock. I gotta get another workout in, edit, upload this video, the right way to do this is to wait until tomorrow, get the parts that we need, and then keep keep pushing. Keep pushing. This is a grind. This is this is like sick week crunch vibes. It's uh it's fun, but I'm also like annoyed, you know. I'm I'm in my garage by myself grinding this thing out and I'm missing out on time with my family and my wife and work stuff's getting behind and I also, my number one priority too, on top of that, is doing this 75 hard challenge. Right now I'm on day 38 or 39, so I'm over halfway now, which is a lot of work, you know? It's two workouts a day. Each one has to be 45 minutes. One of them's outside, a gallon of water, take a picture, read 10 pictures of any non-fictional book, and on top of it, I've been doing daily YouTube videos. I think that this is like my 39th video in a row, which is crazy. Push, push, listen. Uh oh. Winston. Winston, Winston, Winston. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What do we look alike? Basically the same. Can you come out here and help me take a thumbnail picture? Winston, you want to come hang with the boys? You want to come hang with the boys? Yeah. I'll take that. Very nice. Pooch, come here. He's like, nah, I'm out of here. I'm gonna call it for the night. I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna edit this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow.
Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.